Yeah, so I got involved with La Casa through the MOPS program, which is Mother of Preschoolers. They have all kinds of mom, um, you don't have to just be a mom of preschooler, I actually have a, a newborn or a, a little one now um, when I started. But my dad actually has gone around the country and spoken at different MOPS programs or moms programs. Um, and uh, when my husband and I moved to Phoenix, he told us you have to get involved with La Casa de Cristo's mom's program just because he said out of all the places he had been, it had just, uh, he'd been blown away with the leadership and the people there and the program that they've developed. So when my daughter was, I think two months old, I signed up for it um, and have been a part of it since. Man, my faith is the most important thing in my life. I accepted Christ when I was a senior in high school, and what I mean by that is I acknowledge the fact that I was created by a God who loved me. I was, uh, or am, I am a sinner, and had done things to separate myself from God from day one, um, and that I believe that God had then man, made a way for me to get back in closeness with Him through the death and resurrection of His Son. Um, so I had heard that story for a long time, but believed it uh, when I was a senior in high school um, and now have the privilege of hopefully teaching my daughter um, in the same thing and helping her understand that there's a God who loves her more than her mom and dad love her and that um, and she has been created for a higher purpose and to live in communion and close relationship with God um, and that through Jesus Christ's death, she gets to do that. Yeah, so the mom's program here at La Casa de Cristo is about, man, uh, an opportunity to love on moms no matter where you're at. Whether you just had a newborn, you have um, toddlers, preschoolers, uh, even teenagers, it is about meeting with other women who are in the same place as you, learning from those who have gone before you, um, and also just getting loved on um, by the leadership and the team here at, by the church. So through every piece from when you first walk in and there being a thousand coffee creamers to the wonderful nursery staff or childcare st staff that takes care of your children while you're man, feeding yourself both um, physically and spiritually. Uh, it is just an amazing program to meet moms where they're at, love them where they're at, and give them the tools to be even better and braver. I have never felt more celebrated than when I was at moms um, or mops group. I think from having men serve you breakfast um, every time, just without fail with a huge smile on their face, uh, to just little details that the staff and leadership do in terms of like decorating the tables for each season. For, um, I remember in the fall, they did a raffle where it was the winner got a crock pot, but it was like, well, we're not just gonna give away a crock pot. We're gonna st stuff it with um, a whole bunch of things for you to easy recipes at home to use the crock pot with. Oh, okay, well then let's also give you a list of recipe. We'll give everyone a list of recipes that you can use at home for your crock pot. Just anything that they can think of to make your life easier as a mom, um, to help you in the season that we're in. Yeah, I would say, man, to any <laughs> struggling mom, um, first of all, I'd say that's probably all of us on certain days. Um, so you are not alone in that. And the second is it is 100% worth the awkwardness of just showing up. Um, I didn't know a soul when I signed up. I didn't know anyone at my table. I didn't go with like a buffer best friend or anything like that. Um, and it was 100% worth it. In the moms group, you're placed with women alongside of you who are in similar life stages. They have children around the same age or close to it. Um, and so that in and of itself becomes just such a place for support and questions um, and figuring out how you guys are all doing it and trying to um, man just encourage each other along the way and that often leads to, to hanging out outside of mops. For a lot of people in this stage of life getting to sit for two hours with a friend uninterrupted by children every two weeks doesn't happen a ton so the ability to do that with this group of women um, you quickly become friends and um, with them just through that that consistent time together. The MOP speakers that I got to hear were just fantastic. From um, talking about 
Man, how to still have dreams and goals in a season that isn't always about you to uh, very practical like discipline techniques with children um, or development techniques with children to man, how to instill a culture of service in your family. Um, it has just been above and beyond in terms of every week getting to sit and learn under different people flown in from around the um, country, even around the world in some cases, to come and speak to us as women and get to learn from them. Um, so that has been a huge part of moms is the ability to learn from wonderful people about a variety of topics that always leave me with to-dos and ideas and ways to improve um, my home life and myself uh, with a Christian outlook. If you are on the fence about joining or coming to a mom's group, I would just beg you to do so. Um, if there, man, even if you, hopefully you don't, but if even if you don't feel alone or unseen or like you need a break or that you uh, just want to meet new friends in the same life stage as you are. Even if you have all of those things, there is always something you can learn there. Um, it is a crazy season that we're in as moms and the ability to meet with other people, to learn from um, women who have made it over the mountain and to get just loved on and celebrated in this crazy season is 100% worth it. Face the awkwardness, make it through the door, even if you're five minutes late, 10 minutes late, just show up and I promise you it will, uh, man, it will change your, your weeks uh, to come.